fellas, welcome back to another Power Shock Central episode today. We're driving in the 7.3 right now. We got the 7.3 on the road. We're actually headed to AutoZone to actually pick up part for the 7.3. Not sure what part yet. I'm just going to go in there, look around. Thought of a genius idea while I was driving. And I was like, you know what? Wouldn't it be cool to actually just go into AutoZone, look around, find an item, pick it out and buy it and put it on the 7.3 and see how it looks. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I am having some tranny issues, guys. I need you guys to leave in the comments. So what's going on is basically I'm putting it in part. And if it's like on a hill, it doesn't go all the way in park and it starts to slip and the gear starts slipping and it bumps down the hill. I do not know what's going on. So I'm not sure what the issue is, uh, what I need to change. So if you guys could leave in the comments, if you guys know the issue, that would be pretty badass. So we're at AutoZone right now. We're going to go ahead and hop on inside. Not really sure what I'm going to get yet. This is going to be a surprise video for you guys. You're just going to have to stay tuned to the end to see what I really get and see how it looks on the 7.3. So stay tuned. We are in the auto zone right now. Kind of got everything that's like aesthetically pleasing on the 7.3. There's only a couple things I don't have on it. I really, really do want to put a straight pipe on it. We'll go ahead and look around here. Have to see this exact exhaust tip right here. This bully exhaust tip. Train horn video coming soon, guys. I, I am looking for some good train horns. I do need you guys to subscribe down below so that way I can get to that 1,000 subscribers. Start making some dough from this channel and be able to purchase badass products like this. Okay, fellas. So I've been walking around for a little bit here and I just stumbled across something that I think would be way more entertaining for you guys than an air filter. It's actually going to be some truck bed clothing liner. This looks pretty dope, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to do a couple of layers of this, unfortunately. So I'm probably going to need like two or three uh, cans. So I'm just going to go with the bigger side here and do three cans of this truck bed liner. Raptor truck bed liner. That's what I'm going to check out with. We just checked out at AutoZone. I got three cans of Raptor spray foam. So I'm going to be spraying the back of my truck here, truck bed liner. So you guys can see kind of messy. It's kind of rusty and it just needs a new, it just needs a new upgrade, guys. We will catch you guys back at the house. The guy at AutoZone said you really need to clean your truck out good. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I want to be sanding it down, trying to get every single speck off of it before I spray it. We'll go ahead and spray it in this video and actually get a whole uh, detailing for you guys. Spray with truck bed liner. So it's going to add to the blacked out look because I did get the uh, black truck bed liner, which is pretty badass. We'll see you guys back at the house. Stay tuned. Spraying this on the 7.3 right here. So I got some junk in the back right now. We're going to pull all that stuff out. This power wash it clean it i might even do a little bit of sanding with it and then we're going to take this guy and we're going to spray it on. i'm going to show you guys how to spray the truck bed liner on the truck bed Uh, so I was at the lease the other day and I had some deer corn and spilled all back there. So the uh, sweeper and just sweep all that out, power wash it. Room guys, uh, get all the little wee morsel stuff. stuff like that. I'm just going to power wash it, go straight into power washing. Look at that. Gone. Toast. This cannon? Toast. Dropped it. I was power washing the side. I turned my back for one second and the tripod went capiche. Blew up the lens and now it doesn't work for, for absolute jack. So, brand new Academy and what you guys are on right now is actually uh, a new camera. New, a brand, another brand new G7X Mark III that I just bought because I already have all the attachments and everything for it. So, I just went ahead and bought another G7X Mark III. And this thing lasted a long time and it's super durable. It lasts me over two years. And this thing's been through rain, water. I've thrown it through basically everything. So, we got a new camera for you guys. That's kind of besides the point of this video. Everything cleaned up now. I'm just going to kind of squeegee it, scrub it, make sure everything's really, really clean. Kind of just dry it off and then I'm gonna take the truck bed liner and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. All right guys, so I got this towel right now. I'm gonna just kind of go through and just kind of wipe everything down. Got all that cleaned off. Look at that, dirty. Now I'm gonna take the blower and just kind of do one last little sweep out and we'll start spraying. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do corners first here. I'm gonna start with the corners. I'm just gonna kind of go like this. Now I'm gonna go like this guys, this way with the run here.
All right, guys, last can here. Let's see if we can knock it out now. She wrote, guys, that's it. That's all we got. It looks pretty good, guys. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Did the good old Power Stroke Bass and Bucks get a good job done here? I just kind of winged it. For my first time, I don't think it's too shabby, guys. It is a little bit uneven some in some places, but for it being my first time, guys, you got to give me a little bit of a uh, little bit of credit. Um, I'm definitely gonna need to get one more can to do all the like all the trim and stuff like that. I don't want any white showing in the truck bed. That will conclude this Power Stroke Central video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe down below to see more videos like this, more Seven Tree content. Also gonna be coming out with some Seven Tree stickers. Um, May 17th merch drop. So without further ado guys, we will catch you guys on another one. Make sure you guys watch the next one. It'll be up here or down there. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice rest of your day. Peace.